hey what's going on everybody welcome back to another video and today I wanted to talk about my top five favorite apps for the PS Vita so after you install custom firmware on your Vita you have all sorts of different options and you unlock the potential the great potential of your PS Vita and have all sorts of awesome games applications and all these amazing plugins so I wanted to go through these five and that way you guys have a better understanding of what the best five are and for me personally these are the best five that you must have on your Vita to have the best experience ever on your console so let's begin with number five and that is going to be a Vita homebrew browser and currently before we begin I am on custom firmware version 3.60 Hinkaku Enzo and it's working just fine everything works flawlessly and if you haven't already downgraded I will have a link in the description on how to do that so uh, Vita homebrew browser was gonna come in at number one because it's such a beast of an app but lately it just kinda doesn't wanna work so some days it works some days it doesn't and if the website is down that means the application is not going to work so uh, VitaDB is one of the best websites to download all sorts of different uh, games, ports, emulators, utilities, you name it. And Vita Homebrew Browser just brings that all on your Vita in an application. And all you have to do is have Wi-Fi connection and you can start download all these different apps directly onto your Vita. And it's just so convenient because you can also update the latest emulators, the latest games, etc. Like for example, we have the latest Diatalus X64 emulator uh, version 0.3. And all you have to do if you already have it installed is go in here and hit the download and it will update everything for you. You don't have to move around your games or your settings or anything like that. So it's just super convenient and it's just one of the best apps to have on your Vita. Coming in at number four, we have auto plugins number two or auto plugin two. And this app allows you to download all these different plugins for your Vita and just have this amazing library of plugins and just optimize your system a lot better and have like percentage on your battery and also you can update the auto plugins app as you can see we have a minor fix in sharp scale install so let's just accept that and it downloads and updates everything right away which is perfect also if you have all these different plugins installed before you had this app once you go into it and you go and select update plugins it will scan all of your plugins and make sure that everything's up to date and if it isn't you can download everything simultaneously and it will just update all of your plugins all at once so it's super convenient and it just works great and all these different plugins that you can mess around with but I would be very careful and, you know make sure you read up on what that plugin actually does because some of them will kind of mess up your system a little bit I did have one app or this one plugin that kept showing up on my screen wherever I went it just had all this information on the screen and I couldn't figure out what the hell that plugin was so just make sure you carefully read what each plugin does and just have fun with it. So here we are at the main menu. We have Vita plugins and also PSP plugins for our Adrenaline app. And it's just super convenient, guys. This is a must have on your Vita. And you can check for plugin updates. And it looks like there's no available plugin updates because I just updated like last week. Going into install plugins, you'll see all your different options and the green text will describe what's going on with this plugin and what it actually does uh, we have custom warning version 2 by the official flow and this one allows you to set a custom warning message instead of the ep epilepsy warning when you boot up with enzo so just little tweaks like that that makes it fun and more personal for you for your uh, system makes it more exciting coming in at number three we have pkgj and there's a lot of criticism here when it comes to this app 
uh, just because you can download basically every single game off the PlayStation Store for free. So it is, uh, you got to be very careful using this uh, application because you can get into trouble, people. But you know what? To his own uh, power, to his own beliefs or whatever you think but for me personally i think it's one of the best apps to have and you have to have this if you want to have all sorts of different games and not worry about uh you know buying the actual copy of these games <laughs> not only does it download ps vita games but you can download psp games for your adrenaline app it's just a monster of an app and in order for you to install this correctly, I do have a video on how to do that in the description down below so you can go check it out. And for me, this app has been working flawlessly. So I'll download a game, I'll wait for it, and it'll show up on the main menu as a bubble. So any game that I want, it will work right away. And for the PSP games, you have to have Adrenaline uh, application running and you have to be downgraded to the correct firmware in order for that to work. Once you start downloading a PSP game and finish it, it installs correctly into the right folder for Adrenaline and you don't have to move any folders or any files around in order for that to work. So it just, it works flawlessly with Adrenaline and it's number three on my list. We all knew this was coming. Number two is Adrenaline. Maybe not everybody, but after talking about PKGJ, Adrenaline number two comes in at number two because this application is, I was going to put this at number one, but unfortunately it doesn't work for the latest uh, version 3.73, which a lot of people are on and they are having a hard time downgrading either because their motherboard doesn't allow it or they're just having a hard time understanding how to do it. So Adrenaline basically is the entire interface of the PSP and you can play the PSP games no problem and the PS1 games. So I'll show you here what I got and it, there's just a bunch of games I have on here. It's ridiculous how good this application works and this is the main reason why I downgraded and took the risk of downgrading because I had to have the PSP interface on my Vita. It's just one of those nostalgic feelings of having that PSP uh, XMB going back and forth here and not only that you can do whatever you had done on your pre previous uh, PSP, hacked PSP with custom firmware like custom themes and you can also have the VSH menu and play your movies, music, everything that you can do on the PSP, Adrenaline will do it for you. And the options here is insane. So you can do all sorts of different save states. You have all sorts of different settings, uh, your official settings here. So like I said, it was going to be number one, but unfortunately it just goes up to 3.65 and that's about it. And coming in at number one for the PS Vita, the best application to have for me personally, it's going to be RetroArch because this works for all custom firmware and this is a powerhouse of an application and it basically has all these amazing retro emulators and you can play Super Nintendo, Nintendo, uh, PS1, Game Boy, Game Boy Advance and the interface is so cool to mess around with and it's just a crazy crazy application to play all sorts of different games. As you can see here I have all these Game Boy Color games, I have the Game Boy Advance games, you have the regular Game Boy games, uh, we have the original Nintendo games, we have Super Nintendo, Game Gear, Master System, Mega Drive, and they're constantly working on this app, which I love so much, and they're adding more cores to each different platform, so the RetroArch uh, PS Vita version has its own cores, right? And then you have the PC version, you have the PS3 version, the Nintendo Switch version, which also has their own different cores. So uh, RetroArch is just a 
crazy beast application and everybody must have this one if they want to enjoy all these retro games from the past and just have a good time so that is it for this one guys those are my top five applications to have on the ps vita or my favorites whatever you want to call it but thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed it please give it a thumbs up it really helps me out a lot and any questions whatsoever please comment down below and i'll try to get back to you as soon as possible and if you're interested in installing any of these applications i will have links to every single video i created for those in the description down below if you haven't already subscribed please subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so you don't miss a video in the future thank you so much for watching take care and i'll see you on the next one.